just because you see somebody in the street that you know what they're going through, because you really don't. Right. You feel? And every day is hard, even though I uphold myself because of some fact I love myself and God love me first. So I'm not never going to neglect myself, even though I'm out here in the street. It's still love, even though it's a lot of hatred because you say the thing the man do to they self. Cause harm to ourselves. You feel me? We gotta understand that this is not a game why people keep calling it the game. This is called survival. You feel me? Because I'm not living out here. I'm just surviving the day, surviving the wilderness. I'm still in the wilderness. When you say survive your day, you you don't think about next Man, week. You live day by day. I don't day. even know Let if I might moment. die in 20 minutes because I can drink a cup of water and drown. You feel me? Off a cup of water. It's the, you know what I'm saying? It's been known clinically. You feel me? Like there's no there's tomorrow ain't promised on this earth. What's promised is eternity in the place where God got it for. Mm -hmm. He said, "For I have went to prepare a place for you." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what that's what I want. So this, this is nothing. What's your message to the, the kids, to the people about happiness? You, you were talking about happiness. Stay a hey, way. I always understand that even though you go through a lot. I lost my whole family, right? They killed my whole family. They shot me seven times. I was the only one survived. My son was one years old. Where you from, Alabama? Got moved down here. Cause every time when I would go home, I always hear my son call my name. I couldn't go in there. What happened to him? They killed him. It was robbery, you know. I used yeah. to sell a lot of drugs. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to have plenty of money. That's why I, I'm used to money. Mm -hmm. Man, hey, these are not fake tears, man. I just needed a vent for a minute. Because everybody look at me and depend on me out here in the street because I get so much. Because it just comes sometimes. The man blessed me for my birthday and gave me $300. Guess what I did? I turned around, I got changed, and just everybody who I came in contact with gave everybody five dollars. On my birthday, I didn't tell nobody it was my birthday because I wasn't looking for nothing. I was already blessed. I don't want more on top of what I already been blessed with. That's being greedy. When's your birthday, my man? September 6th. Oh, 1984. Just happened I just, last week. Okay. And, and man, I'm, I'm talking about it's so it's so beautiful how I want you to sit back and understand what life really is. Right. It's not yours. So why do we even think about keeping it? Because in fact, you lose a life so young at one year old. So what was life? That was life. No, oh, you just started. That's what I think as far as we on earth. They always say don't cry because they up in heaven. But yeah, I'm still human and I have to. I miss them every day. <laughs> yeah, that's like, this just happened like three years ago. Man, I came down here from Ohio, man. Ohio? Man, and I just needed a vent because some folks just don't take the time to even talk to me, man. They just won't because I, I created that monster. I give and then they expect. And I just keep doing it even though I know I'm being used. I already ain't got nothing. <laughs> Oh, family, man. Let me go, man. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay, brother. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no. That's... Yeah, y'all just don't understand, man. Even the small things are the big things, man. I wish people can see the way you see things in life. My bad, man. Hey, man, I'm right. My bad. I just need to feel alone. He, he would tell me, I'm going to come to you. He kept warning me. I'm going to come to you in a different form. You've got to catch me. And of course, you know, being in the presence of a king, you're thinking, oh, yes, this is going to be great, you know, and you really are thinking that you're smart and you're going to catch him. You're going to be able to recognize him when he comes. Uh, we've got scripture. There were several people that didn't recognize him when he came. It's like Mary, you know, when he appeared to her, she supposed him to be the gardener. And, uh, and evidently he looked different when he came to, you know, to address Mary. Who are you, man? And there's another one in uh, John 21. After he was resurrected, he appeared to many, but he appeared to many in so many different forms. And two others of his disciples were together. 
And Simon said to them, I am going fishing. Of course, that's another revelation. If you really want to see him, you need to get fishing. Loving the world as Jesus loved the world and still does. But when the morning had now come, Jesus stood on the shore, yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Peter had to have the eyes, and so did John, and the disciples had the eyes to re be able to see Christ in these different vessels that he appeared in. And I truly believe that the Lord was trying to teach them to be able to recognize him in man, in a different form. And I believe that's the one reason he came to them in, in, in different forms so that they could start understanding and be able to discern him by the spirit instead of by the flesh. But thank the Lord he did it because it teaches us to be able to recognize Christ in an earthen vessel. That is Christ in us, the hope of glory, but we've got to start recognizing it. It's a different feel when he's literally there there's a different atmosphere change even that comes to my own heart. And besides, most of the time when it's really the Lord, most of the time your carnal mind's going to war with you because it just doesn't like in the Spirit of God. Just the looks of Jesus is enough for eternity. And for him to wink in a gesture of love, you can feel the power come out of his eyes. And uh, I've learned a lot about that, about believing more in him than in my carnal nature. He will always put his treasures in earth and vessel, but you've got to look past the outer and look on the inward. And if you look on the inward, if you learn to look on the inward instead of the outward, you will start seeing Christ in people. That's our hope, to be able to see Christ in each other. And uh, when once we start seeing that in touching one another and holding one another, honoring one another as we're honoring Christ, literally, love one another as we do, do the Lord, you'll start seeing the Lord instead of the person you've been judging. And, but man, once I got past my thinking, I was able to see him and catch him. So could we catch him in one another? Because we are that body of Christ. Because there's so many people, you know, I look on the outward and I go, man, they, are, they really need to get right with the Lord. And then the Lord says, really? And then he shows me their inward heart. And man, I'm, I'm undone. Because uh, we're always thinking, man, they got to be changed. They got to change behavior. But what if their heart's right and their heart, they're growing out of the old behavior? I mean, who wouldn't want Jesus to manifest himself? Can you imagine just walking in his ways? in such a way it pulls him into this atmosphere to really show himself to show you who you're really walking with wouldn't that be awesome but this is the part i i feel like i understand through this experience and i know it's just maybe just a little part you know you guys probably have all the rest of the parts you know have other experiences better than maybe what i got you know but we need that keep going after the lord the best thing to do is just don't judge. Just love. If there's any type of greatest judgment you could ever do to the enemy is love. That will judge the enemy. It will destroy him. Because God is love. Let it come out of you, no matter the vessel. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in and uh, hanging out with us. We love you. We're going to keep doing this, this until I run out of stories.